friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy and I am so glad you chose to spend some time with me today. Um, so Five Below is not a place where I frequent. Like I don't shop there very often unless I have something specific in mind. For example, my nephew is going to spend a couple weeks with us in June and I needed, I just wanted to pick up a brand new game, something that we have not played together before. And Five Below has games and toys that I know he enjoys. So I went, I found a game, but I found a couple of other things too. And it's sort of a mini haul because really, I think I only bought three things. So <laughs> it's not like a huge haul, but I did pick up a few things and I wanted to show you and sort of talk about them just a little bit. So. I have actually picked up a few pet items from Five Below before. Um, I found a really cute little um, shirt, no it was a sweater, it was a Christmas sweater that I was able to get for Curtis um, and I got him a small mat for his, for his um, cage, his crate and he was younger and super puppyish and everything we put in there he destroyed <laughs> and he, he honestly doesn't spend a lot of time in there he's trained to go like when we need him to go into the crate like we're going somewhere and we need him to go in or if we're bringing in groceries and we need to have the front door open and we don't want him to run out he will go in he doesn't spend a lot of time in there but when he does I feel like I always wanted him to have something comfortable but he tears everything up that we put in there. <laughs> so the last thing I picked up was actually from Five Below and he did really well with it initially and then he did, he tore it up and we had to throw it away. But he's a little bit older and I am ready to try something else. So I, I found um, this pet bed. Oh, it's, it's huge. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to get it completely in the frame. Anyway, it's like pillow size. When I brought it home, Robert thought I had bought um, some pillow for the bed, but it is a pet bed and it was $5. This is larger than the one I got last time and I'm actually now thinking that I may have gone, should have gone with something a little smaller because it's going to go into the little cage and I don't know. We have a, it's actually a really big one. We got the next size up we didn't want him to be like crammed into a small one so we got a one that's actually large enough for dogs that are much bigger than him so that he would have plenty of room to move around so i don't know i might i don't know if this is going to be too big we're going to see but i was pretty excited i thought it was a a nice <laughs> seriously like robert laid laid it on he was like oh it's so nice and comfy um I thought for five dollars it was kind of a steal and it seems like it's put together well um, that doesn't mean that Curtis can't destroy it <laughs> he can be a little wild sometimes when he is put up um, he can be a little wild sometimes but like I said he's older so I, I feel like it's time for us to try again and hopefully he will not destroy this. <laughs> um, all right, so the game that I picked out for my nephew, John and I, and Robert, of course, will be invited to play. Um, this is, what is it called? Oh, Jungle Drop. Jungle Drop. And it is sort of a version of, it's an exciting twist to snakes and ladders or shoots and ladders as I grew up calling it and um, you actually climb up levels it has four levels so you start at the bottom and you work your way up and you can get shot back down um, we are going to open this game up and actually take a look at it together Robert and I are going to assemble it <laughs> and give it a go so stick around, that will be coming up after I show you 
the third item that I picked up. I think the game looks like a lot of fun. I hope that it, I hope that it works well, that it holds together. I don't know. There's a lot of layers to it. <laughs> and it was $5, so I'm hoping for the best. Um, my birthday is coming up at the beginning of June, and my parents and my sister, brother-in-law, and their two children are going to come. We're going to have a little get-together in the backyard, and I wanted to pick up a game because John and I, every time we have a family get-together, for the last year or so, we've had all of our family get-togethers outside, and we set up games um, where you can social distance and still enjoy each other's company. Um, so, I found this game. It's a bucket toss game, and it was $5. Here we go. Bucket toss. And you try to throw bean bags into the buckets. And I don't really know, like, if different baskets have a different value. I am not sure. Or if you just get a point for getting it in the basket, period, which is kind of what I'm thinking because this is for ages six and up. So you could probably actually do variations of it depending on who's playing. Now that I look at this, <laughs> um, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to the picture on the cover, but I mean the cover, <laughs> the picture on the box, but it really looks like it's going to be a very, very short um, stand. I assume there are multiple pieces in here that we can build and make it taller so that we can enjoy this. Um, but I'll be setting this up. Yeah, we'll be setting this up either in this video or sometime closer. Um, let me just pull this out. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to actually get this out and set it up. So I'm going to take all the pieces out now. I thought maybe that this evening we would put together that other game and then, ouch, bean bag fell on me. Um, I don't know that we're going to have time, so I'm going to take all these out and let's see. These are the three pieces that I'm assuming are the base. And please, no. Is this literally it? How does this even work? I'm totally just joking. Robert's going to have to help me put this together. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I can um, just throw this together on the spot right now. It's probably going to take a minute. Oh, well, this makes more sense. Oh, yeah, it will not be that difficult. My bad. So these are going to slide in here, and there are three, one, two, three, and this will come in here. So yeah, this is going to be super short. We're going to have to set this up and play it and show you what this looks like put together. I hope this is worth it. Five dollars, though. I mean, if nothing else, I got six good bean bags. <laughs> I mean, you can always do bean bag toss. Right? So there are, are they all yellow? No, that wouldn't make sense because you have teams of two. So there are three yellow and three blue. So we will um, try to get this together this evening and give you a little demonstration on how to play bucket toss. Just toss it in the bucket. Yay! <laughs> um, so these are the three items that I found. Um, have you found anything interesting? Do you shop at Five Below? Um, I've actually found things at Five Below that I have also found at the Dollar Tree. But they're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree and at Five Below they're like two, three bucks. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm still like Dollar Tree loyal, <laughs> but you know, it's fun to shop around sometimes. So if you have found anything really cool at Five Below, 
tell me about it in the comments below. I would love to hear um, if there's anything I should be looking out for. Uh, stick around because we're going to have some demonstrations. So here they come. So this is the new game that I bought at Five Below called Jungle Drop. It looks so cool to me. <laughs> it's for six and up. So hopefully Robert and I are old enough to play it. And um, it says that it is an exciting twist to snakes and ladders. So we are currently building the game. <laughs> yeah, it's going to look like this at the end. Are we supposed to bend these things over? Maybe that'll trap them down. It's not the highest quality product. Ooh, look at the flimsy! Player one rolls the dice and counts out the number shown on the dice on their ball. Okay. The next player takes a turn. Oh, okay. Go well, ahead. anyway, it says start. Do you put mine here? Start and go. Yeah. Well, the, why is there a holding? I have. Oh, for everybody else. Because okay. each person starts. Oh, yeah, you couldn't do that together. Okay, yeah. roll. Wow, look at this. It's... This is high quality. <laughs> it's so sarcastic. Three. Well, at least well, it look counts at you. it. One, two, three. No, you, you came to a, a little ladder. I guess you, when you hit a you ladder. You get to go up to 17, boo boo. Oh, cool. Bam! All right, let's pause this so I can play. Alright, so we're in the throes of a pretty intense game. Um, Robert's down here at 37 on level 2. I was way ahead until I hit a drop. I'm at 47 on level 3, but I rolled a 2. 1, 2. So we're going to drop, and it is definitely going to... <gasps> it actually did it! It worked. It actually did it. Every time we've tried these drop holes before, it's rolled straight Six, off the table. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to work as well. <gasps> oh, almost. Almost. I'm going to start all over again. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. We'll let you know when we are making progress, if we make progress. <laughs> Continuing on with the confusion of this game, I am on space number 77. And winner is 78, according to the board. Oh, come on. Clear up. It won't focus. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus. But winner is some 78. And what do the instructions say, Robert? It says here, number five says the game is won when the player lands on square 77. <laughs> so 78 is just for looks, I guess. Um, super weird. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should see if I can roll a one. But you don't have to. Oh, let's, oh wait a minute. Well, that's, that's a 78. Yeah, dude. I don't know. Maybe you win on 77 and then you just hang out on 78 until the next person wins. Or until the game is over. I don't know. And that's like the top winner is in 78, and then everybody else continues play. And you just sit on 78 like the queen or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm on 77, so I guess I won. You know what the points are like in this? Okay, the, the yellow ones are one point. <laughs> okay. This one, the orange, is three points. Okay. Scoring is calculated at the end of each round on the net score basis. That is to subtract the points of the lower scoring team from the higher score. They literally have to tell you, you subtract <laughs> and whoever has more <clears throat> Yeah, we got it. Oh, the winner is the first team to reach 21 points. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I feel like this will be a good one. Are you going to watch us play? And Kurt's here too. All right. Robert is blue. Go ahead. He's going to go after it. He's going to keep watching already. 
These are not toys for you. It doesn't understand English. Okay, throw it. It's okay. We can get it back. Just get it in the basket and then you can't get Curtis. <laughs> Curtis. Curtis, come here. <laughs> Curtis. <laughs> okay, while they're doing that. See, he brought it to you, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I am very bad. Oh, but they all go to the same place. Curtis, Curtis no, you can't have mine. Curtis. <laughs> See, he didn't even do it. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Curtis. So you going to help? He's supposed to be a retriever. Yes, he's supposed to be a retriever. All right, go for it, Robbie. It's wet. It's got drool on it, I think. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's, it was in his, this probably one that was in his mouth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. So really, the game itself is, Kurt, 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 he only, <laughs> he only really wants the blue ones. That is, that is interesting. <laughs> He threw it. He threw it. What a... Oh, I got one and you missed it. I can see it. It's on video. Now one of the baskets is messed up. <laughs> one of the baskets is off. Ah, snap. See, if that basket had been yeah, on there, I probably the would have gotten it. it I would have. It would have been awesome. Well, I, I was trying to turn it to see if it... Oh, okay. This is actually not that bad quality of a game, I think. I think we did there. pretty well. <clears throat> <Whoop. laughs> you got one. You got two. You got the top one. Wow, you're far back. <gasps> did you see Sue want to catch it? Oh, look at Sue. <laughs> you missed them all. You were trying to, don't. <laughs> That's funny. I kind of like this one. It's not bad. I mean, it's not falling over. So. <laughs> Cheat. Cheater. 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 Cheater, you are such a cheater. I didn't see where. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's not built bad. It's pretty good. Once yeah. you turn the things. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and join the Wink Fam. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!